Welcome to step two, defining your goal, jobs that enrich your life. Let me begin by saying that even if you know exactly what your job or career goal is, the second step of the five steps can be life-changing, one that enriches your life well beyond the workplace. So I strongly encourage you to complete the simple but powerful exercise in this section. Personally, I complete these exercises at least twice a year and have been doing so for about 20 years now. And here's why. I believe that you and I have the power to control our destinies. If you and I are clear on our goals, clear on what makes us happy, and clear on why we want what we want, we can then pursue and achieve all that we deserve. In other words, we control our destinies by controlling what we can control. Of course, unexpected, or maybe I should say expected obstacles, setbacks, and life stuff will arise and will always seduce us to want to quit or settle for less. But now that you've completed step one of the five steps to rapid employment, you know how to not allow anything to get in the way of achieving all you're capable of achieving and becoming all that you're capable of becoming. But before we get started on some of the important exercises we're going to do in this section, let's use this session to review in a little bit more detail the eight protein principles I spoke about in step one. Remember that you and I already discussed that the industrial age workplace is over and has been so for some time now. The industrial age workplace where about one out of three working Americans were employed directly or indirectly in manufacturing and where most employees could depend on their employers for long-term security has been replaced with the protein workplace. The protein workplace marks a monumental shift away from companies, businesses, organizations, and government taking care of individuals, employees, and the transformation where individuals take full responsibility for their own careers and livelihoods. We agreed that the days of a job for life are pretty much over. Companies, organizations, in other words, employers, are no longer in a position to guarantee company paid health insurance benefits, vacation days, sick days, pension programs, or even steady paychecks. It's a new workplace one that everyone must adjust to. And this is a good time to mention that the old days and the old ways are not returning any time soon, if ever. This means you and I, everyone actually, must assume full responsibility for our work life and our financial well-being. Notice that I call it a work life because much of our life is spent at work. Yes, it's a part of our life, but a significant part. So best we're happy and productive in our work life. The eight protein principles we're about to quickly cover explain how to successfully navigate and thrive in the new protein workplace. The consequences for not adjusting to this new paradigm are far too great. Trying to navigate and fit into the old workplace today is like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. So let's get to it, the eight protein principles for today's workplace. Follow these principles, and you'll not only land the job you want at the pay you deserve quickly, but you'll also enjoy the process and enrich every aspect of your life at the same time. Okay, protein principle number one. Well, since I just mentioned that job seekers, and everyone in the workplace for that matter, must assume full responsibility for their work life and financial well-being, we might as well start with protein principle number one, assume personal responsibility. Actually, we've already covered this when we discussed the 10 principles of success back in step one. So we just need to quickly revisit this before moving on. You know, I'm not sure there's a substitute for personal ambition. How do we inspire or teach drive and ambition to someone who is lacking in this area? It's not easy. Actually, it might even be near impossible. You must fire up your own furnace of ambition. What makes you really happy? What turns you on? What are your deepest desires that will keep you up late at night with anticipation and excitement? Many years ago, I worked for a wise teacher who gave me this advice. Mr. Block, don't wait for other people to come along and turn you on. What if they never show up? All the sessions in step two will help you identify 
or confirm your deepest desires and what turns you on and makes you happy. I'm sure that when we've completed all of step two, you'll have found this session invaluable. Okay, quickly now, personal responsibility includes being aware to make good decisions based on your heightened level of awareness. Awareness is power. Don't be what I call an ex-blamer. An ex-blamer is someone who is constantly finding excuses or blaming others for things that don't go according to his or her expectations. I'm sure you know the type of person I'm referring to, right? When things don't go right, it's never their fault. Rapid employment and attracting abundance in your life requires that you assume full responsibility for everything in your life, being proactive, creative, courageous, and resourceful, especially in the wake of challenges and problems I guarantee you'll need to address along the way. Protein principle number two, rethink what you think you know. The earth is flat. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist, like microscopic particles or sound, light, radio, heat, cell phone, and garage door opener electrical waves. The sun is the center of the universe. How many things do we enjoy today that we said was impossible years, decades, even centuries ago? When you rethink what you think you know, you can turn nothing into something, a blank mind into new creative thoughts, an old thought into a new breakthrough idea, and curiosity into a new job and a new life, if supported by high emotion. Now I know new thoughts, new perspectives, can sometimes be uncomfortable. But not rethinking what you think you know will be hazardous to your better future. So I highly suggest you make the process of thinking and rethinking fun, entertaining and rewarding, and a part of your daily routine. Protein principle number three, anticipate and rapidly adapt to change. Mothers are protein. Mothers are protein because they're constantly anticipating and adapting to best care for their children. For instance, when babies begin to crawl, mothers anticipate that they'll try and get into the poisons under the sink and adapt accordingly by making the cabinets childproof. Rapid employment in the new protein workplace necessitates that you constantly question certainty and beliefs, anticipate and predict the future. Don't underestimate the force of speed or change and expect the unexpected. Today's new workplace and society requires that we all commit to continuous lifelong learning. When we do, we become skillful at anticipating, rethinking, adapting, and thus achieving the success we desire. Protein principle number four, expand your network of contacts. You can't believe the power of hanging around empowered people. I call them no problem kind of people. No problem kind of people are those people who when you ask to help you with some kind of a task or to help you achieve your goals in some way, they always say, no problem. Let's do it together. So here's an important tip. Hang out with people who will help you become more, people who will help you to grow. Don't join an easy group because you won't learn much in an easy group. Go where the expectations and the demands to perform and achieve are high. In other words, hang around with people who have something of value to share with you because, in most cases, their impact will continue to have a significant effect on your life long after they've departed. And don't forget the silent voices either. They come from authors and experts who provide valuable counsel in the form of books and articles. So often the silent voices can be the loudest and most valuable voices that will help you achieve just astonishing results. Protein principle number five, continually increase your market value. Perhaps the only security that exists in the workplace today is the security you deliver by providing more in value than you're compensated for, going the extra mile and benchmarking your value. Hey, don't wait for some company or your employer to pay for your professional development or your continuing education courses. Invest in them yourself and stay on top of your game, skill-wise and personality-wise. Always strive for excellence in everything you do. Pursue wow, meaning be an impressive example for others to follow, and do so with a good attitude and genuine passion.
Protein principle number six, generate financial well-being. One of my first teachers told me that he was broke at the age of 25 and a millionaire by 31. And then he started asking how many colors does everything come in and then taking poor risks in entrepreneurial endeavors and he was broke by age 32. He didn't lose his passion for success. He downsized his life and regrouped. He was a millionaire again, living in Beverly Hills by age 35. Many years ago, after creating a new program that didn't quite pan out according to my plan, I found myself in financial trouble. I, too, regrouped, downsized my lifestyle, and made a near-miraculous comeback. What's my point here? We all need to do a better job taking full responsibility for our finances and our financial future. Employers and the government will no longer take responsibility to ensure your financial future, your pension, your retirement, and yearly income. That said, you must know what you need to live the life you want to be sure you live within your means, consider multiple streams of income, save aggressively, and invest wisely. Most of us don't need a new phone or a widescreen TV every year. Let's put our money in our pockets and secure our financial futures. As I've already discussed, wealth building is about focusing on what we want, where we want to go, not what we have or where we are today. Finally, I remember telling my financial coach years ago that if I had more money, I'd have a better financial plan. And he quickly responded by saying that if I had a better financial plan, I'd have more money. You see, it's not the amount that counts, it's the plan that counts. My coach taught me that it's better to be a lender than a spender. Okay, protein principle number seven. Safeguard your physical and emotional health. Have you ever noticed that some people take better care of their pets than they do themselves? Their pets can run like the wind and yet they can barely make it up a flight of stairs without struggling hard to breathe. If you're not doing this already, I suggest you get, begin by treating your body like a temple, not a woodshed. The mind and the body must work together. Your body needs to be a good support system for the mind and the spirit. If you take good care of it, your body will take you wherever you want to go, like rapid employment. And why is this? Because rapid employment requires power, strength, energy, and vitality. This is what's needed to conduct a winning campaign. Protein principle number eight. Act deliberately and react appropriately. Ever send an email you regretted sending? Ever say something you regretted saying? Did you ever quickly respond or react to a situation or circumstance without really thinking about the consequences? I think we all have. So here are a few tips to act and react in a more positive and constructive manner. First, Set and pursue worthy and passionate goals. Create and execute action plans. Anticipate and prepare for setbacks and obstacles. Take pragmatic action supported by high emotion. Measure results and adjust your plan as necessary. Manage your time wisely and enjoy the journey in pursuit of the goal. And act and react with class, with dignity. And this is especially true when things don't go according to plan. When you act deliberately and react appropriately, you'll be part of a very special group of successful people who are the envy of many who are just hoping for the best. When you learn and embrace the eight protein principles, you'll be well prepared to meet the challenges of the new workplace with precision and mastery. The truth is, the protein workplace provides, for the first time in human history, unlimited opportunities. But you first must expect more from yourself. No, demand more from yourself. And when you do, you'll achieve incredible levels of success you just won't believe possible. It's important that you review these eight protein principles and determine which ones you need to address or improve upon. Remember, everything affects everything else. If your health is out of whack, your job campaign and life will probably be out of whack. If your finances are creating stress, your job campaign and life will probably be under duress. And if you're not open to rethinking what you think you know, 
your future is bound to be a repetition of the past. So take a moment and write down in your workbook what you need to work on to land the job you want at the pay you deserve, to live the life you want, and the live life that you deserve. Okay, with the eight protein principles covered, let's discuss the concept of happiness. How to be happy in life and in your work life. You might think that most people know what makes them happy, and you know, you'd be incorrect. So join me in the next session, and we'll explore this more in detail and begin the magical process of identifying work-life opportunities, jobs and careers, that is personally fulfilling for you and that will lead to a fulfilling life. Let's meet in session two of step two whenever you're ready.